In this video, we're going to go through the important concepts enshrined in the NHS Constitution. This is a really important document for you to be aware of because it outlines the six key things that all NHS employees must exhibit. And so, as people aspiring to be doctors, applying to medical school, it's fantastic if you have an idea of what these things are, but also to try and give examples of these, either in the personal statement or in your interview answers. The first of the six key tenets of the NHS Constitution is working together for patients. What this really highlights is the importance that patients come first in everything that we do. That it's a partnership between us as healthcare professionals and the patient, that we work together towards getting towards a common good. That the patient feels like they've been listened to and that we work with the patient, but at the same time, we use our expertise to help guide patients towards the right answer based upon science and understanding of what their wants and needs are. Respect and dignity are really core to being a doctor, but also working within the NHS. We have to value every person, every patient, their families, their carers, all other staff. It's not just about the patient, but it's about the wider team as well. We have to value them as individuals and respect their aspirations and commitments in life and seek to understand their priorities, needs, abilities and limits. It's really about understanding who they are and working with them to achieve a common goal. A key point that's been really emphasised over the last 10 to 15 years in the NHS is thinking about quality of care. For too long there have been shortcuts taken and the quality of the care hasn't necessarily been the focus of both healthcare providers, patients and also family members. And that's changed. And a really important part of the NHS constitution is this commitment to a quality of care. We need to earn the trust that's placed in us and insist on quality and striving to get the basics of quality care right. We need to ensure that there's safety in our workplace, effectiveness, and the patient experience has to be right every time. We can't compromise on that. It's really important to understand that and it's enshrined in the constitution of the NHS. I think anyone who wants to be a doctor, a nurse, or work within the healthcare profession has compassion, but we need to make sure we keep that as the central tenet within our day-to-day -day work. And so we must try and show compassion and care with everything that we do. We need to respond with humanity and kindness to every patient's pain, their distress, anxiety or their needs. It's really important that we understand that and also in your work experience and in your inter interactions with healthcare professionals, really try to look at examples of that and it's so powerful in either your personal statement or in your interview answers when you start to give examples of where doctors or nurses have responded to patients pains their distresses anxieties and needs and it really shows that you understand what it is to be a healthcare professional working within the nhs again really obvious but important to understand is that the point of the nhs is to improve people's lives we strive to improve their health and their well-being and also the experiences of the NHS and again really think in the interactions that you have in work experience and other areas how people have worked towards trying to improve patients and family members lives within the NHS. The final thing that's really important is that everyone counts. We need to maximise our resources for the benefit of the whole community. We need to make sure that patients are and family members and other stakeholders aren't excluded, discriminated or left behind. In short, that every person within the team of people looking after the patient, from the patient themselves through to the porter, everyone's working together and everyone's voice is equally heard. So if there are concerns, we address them together. These six key tenets are vital for you to understand.